It was clearly a game of just one half. Despite the hosts missing in the final, the pockets of fans at the stadium from both Rwanda and Uganda set the mood for an epic final. After a scoreless first half, Rwanda drew the first blood from Dangerman Kagere Medi. The goal came in the 50th minute of the match. Five minutes later, it should have been 2 0, but Kagere failed to control the ball with only the goalkeeper to beat. On the opposite side, Emmanuel Okwi's dangerous corner almost went in untouched. Moments later, substitute Hamis Kiza hit the upright for the Ugandans as they pressed for an equalizer. It then came in the 77th minute from another dead ball converted by defender Isaac Isinde. A minute later, Kagere Medi turned the Ugandan defense inside out to score. The drama continued as a minute from that goal Uganda equalized. An amazing three goals in three minutes. Uganda almost stole it at the death, but the tricky shot from Kiza hit the crossbar. With no action in extra time, penalties were used to break the deadlock. The teams tied at 2-2 and Captain Andy Mwesigwa gave Uganda the advantage when he converted the last spot kick. Albert Ngabo was not so lucky as his spot kick was saved. Coach Bobby Williamson says the tournament has exposed a few new players for him ahead of the Cup of Nations qualifier against Congo Brazzaville next month. A lot of guys have put themselves forward. There was a lot of good uh, performances here. Uh, a lawyer, Moses has come in, done well, but you can see he's a young lad missing a penalty. 12th title for the Uganda Cranes in a very demanding 2011 Sekafa Championship. The thriller in the final was decided on penalty spot kicks. Abedaira, the hero for Uganda, saving two penalties in the end. Next year, the Sekafa Senior Challenge Cup comes home to Nairobi. Michael Kenyi for Citizen Sports at the National Stadium in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.